All right, here we go again. It's Darkcrawler's time. This game got released yesterday. It was in early access for quite a while now. I've been playing this game not at all. I played this last year, I think. I also have a save game right now because I just um, started a game to test the settings and stuff. So this is like a dungeon crawling space game, kind of. But it's very cool. Let's just dive into it and see how it goes. I don't remember much, to be honest, so this is kind of blind or whatever. New game. Yes. Overwrite that one. Here we are, boss. Terminus 9. Hop for the sector. Maybe it's nicer inside than it looks from out here. Guess we find out together. Let's duck. Word is the bartender runs the wire here. He's the one you should talk to about getting some jobs. Plenty of creds to be made if you get on his good side. Time for a drink then. So, here we have the classes, I guess. What did I play last time? I can't remember. Was I a hacker? Or a white psyker? Hard to tell. So, this dude is a cyber ninja. He is. Well, melee weapons, a melee dude, light melee with the engineer, heavy melee, light melee, heavy melee. Got a hacker here, a smuggler. Hmm. <laughs> I think I played a Void Psyker, not quite sure. Do I want to play White Psycho? Do I want that? Hard to tell. Should I do it? Difficulty. No. No post mission healing. Down crawlers for injuries. Boosted enemy and trap strength. Boss fight scale to your level. Boss fights should always scale to my level. No post mission healing. That doesn't make any sense though. Uh, what is this? No auto healing? Don't crawl or suffer permanent injuries? Yeah, I don't think so. What is Iron Mode? Limit of one Iron Mode save that auto updates. Death is permanent, gears lost forever. Auto updates when a character dies. Not for the faint of heart. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I was. I wanted to play for another hour and make another, uh, I was about to say Evening with Dennis episode, but after work with Dennis I guess, because of course I cannot call my series this exactly the same way as other other people do. Something like Contemplating with Rockwaza, or an Evening of Sips or something. So I'm just gonna call it After Work with Dennis. Even though I did not work and this is not after work, it's afternoon, but whatever. Yeah, I guess we just go with a standard and call our dude. Yeah, well, you can obviously call it Dennis. Abilities. I faintly remember this stuff. Uh, okay. Do I really want to be a white sucker? Mm, I think so. Let's go. Create a backstory. Childhood. Weirdo. All of the kids raised in the slums of the core worlds are weird. You were the weirdest. The lights and half-seen phantoms that sometimes manifested around you didn't help convince people otherwise. Gain street code. Unlock special event options. Rich weirdo. The family fortune sheltered you, but no doctor could cure the strange fits. In a dark alley, a wizened crone fixed you with a dead eye and whispered a word that chilled your blood. Psyker. Cursed child. Bandits broken the shack. No, I don't think so. I think we will go with weirdo. I don't think we. I, I'm not rich, so weirdo probably. Rich, not really. Cursed, maybe. Adulted, rogue, psycho. Burke had been bullying you f your whole life. He finally pushed too far, and you pushed back, and only, only it made Burke explode in a show of gore. When the Chimera soldiers showed up, you exploded them too. Minus 3 rep with Chimera, plus 5% damage. 
Chimera test subject. You knew the Chimera doctors were coming, but you weren't afraid. All they asked was a little blood. When the tests were complete, they even allowed you to re relocate to the fringe unharmed. 10% free accuracy. Nobody. Surren surrendering at the UFP clinic, you anticipated a swift death. They couldn't see you, would forget your face, moments after talking to you. Something was shielding you, calling, calling you to the fringe. I think this character had an issue with accuracy, so... Just based on the stats, I will go with the Chimera test subject. It doesn't sound too bad when it comes to the backstory either, so let's proceed with that. Now, Seeker. The voices generally maintain an appropriate background volume level now. Living on the fringe has afforded has afforded time and solitude to learn a measure of control, but something in the style still calls to you. A hundred credits. They say you can move things with your mind, but you can. They say the writhing tentacles are just in your brain, but no, you put the tentacles in their brains. They will see, they will all see. 5% crit, 5% damage, minus 10% health. Dark Wanderer. Wrecked with fever for an eternity, you almost cracked. At last, a terrible truth was, re re da 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 da. was revealed to you, made self-evident in suffering. You saw what lies beyond. Now you go to spread word of its coming. A rare accessory. accessory. I guess we can get accessories anywhere, and 100 credits doesn't sound like much, so... Do I wanna... Do I want less health? And more damage? Fuck it, sure. Yes, yes, yes. Accept them again. <coughs> Welcome to sticks. Okay, this looks like a hub kind of thing. Docs Ham Saloon. This is our menu. Loadout. Nothing. Abilities. I can assign three ability points. Oh, okay. Active ones. There's just me. This is me. Uh, let's look at the last point so, see, so we can see where we want to go. Dark Majesty. Your next manipulation ability affects all enemies and is 50% bonus damage. If it's a passive, you passively generate 5 white energy each turn in combat. When combat begins, you your white resistance is boosted. Okay. When you apply blind, corrupt the vulnerability, add one tri tribe. Tribute? Tribute? Tribute. Activate to offer them to a cosmic horror. If it accepts, something dire happens to your foes. If rejected, something dire happens to you. Offering more tributes is safer. Oh gee. If accepted, you may also gain a boon. Unused gain 100 void energy. Uh, uh, deal 50% weapon damage if the target is shield strain 2 to 3 and gain 5 void. Hmm. Shadow Bolt, Drain, 2 turn cooldowns, deals white damage, 2 turn cooldown. So I kind of have to go with this because I would need to wait 2 turns after doing one of these. So I could go with this once. Even more damage and even more damage. Can I go here? No. Can I go now? No. Oh, okay. You have to master a level. Okay, that makes sense. So, this is a shield penetrator, basically. Mm. And if it has no shields, it deals even more damage. Pierce shields. Gain white resistance. 30% hit chance. Three times. Core Shadow says like three times for each target. Three times for each target. Bonus 30% crit chance. A level three does. Hmm. So. Let's go to level 2 of this one and get one level of this. I think, maybe? Yeah, we can start with the Shadow Coil and then go with this one. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad. Alright, am I good? Am I good? How do I get back here? 
Uh, let's save our game. Sure. Yep. All right. Finally, after like ten minutes of reading stuff, we can like start. I guess saloon. A haggard-looking bartender is working the bar. His mech arm continuing to wipe down the pellet counter as he sizes you up. Evening. I haven't seen you here before, so welcome to the station, Terminus 9, Jewel of the Zector. Locals call us sticks for sure. What's your poison? I can go with street knowledge. The shadows gather. I must enter the maelstrom. You will aid on this dire path. I have sensed it. I'm looking for work. Terminus 9, what happened to the other eight? <laughs> um, let's go with street knowledge. He frowns. Gods, another barmy psyka. That makes three this cycle. We take all sorts here. But mind you keep the head babbling and manifesting to a minimum, yeah? Fox get antsy when you lot start sprouting tendrils. Taking a long drag from a cigar, Doc stares at you evenly. Trouble is, I'm not hiring genders at the moment. I sense sarcasm. Just fun with you. It's not every circle I get a new crawler. Elian's heard on the creaking bar. Trouble is, my wire terminal is on the fritz. Fritz? Fritz? Okay. I can't get you any work until it's fixed. Maybe you could do me a favor and grab some parts from the basement? What's the wire? Wait, is there some kind of tutorial? Are you tutorialing me? <laughs> well, yes, now that you mention it, but I do need the parts, actually. Hold up a lisp, punk. He crosses his arms and regards you evenly. Lesson one of crawling. Don't be too quick to turn down a paying job. It's not all high stakes heists. Sometimes you gotta make do with what's on offer. Even if it's pilfering a shipload of stuffed space monkey bears. Um, I guess. Fair enough, let's do it. He waves you off and turns to deal with a surly customer calling you, calling to you over his shoulder as he goes. Thanks much, I'll stick it on the job board. Check it out and then head on down to the basement whenever. Watch out for Sotsi. Sotsi? Had to toss that guy out. Tap as long as my arm. Put the job on the board for you. So as you can see how that works. Um, oh, I can hire more people. Oh, I have no bucks though. Okay. Open my stash, there's nothing, exit saloon, no, I guess we check the board now. Before you learn to crawl, we get 10 bucks. What the fuck? Sure, let's go. Yeah. Oh, oh okay, I see. <coughs> expensive, expensive, Jesus. Expensive and dangerous FTL travel is limited to a selected group of UFP approved ships. Good to know. Use WASD keys to move and run, to move and turn, strafe with Q and E, activate your flashlight with the F key, customize. Okay, this looks neat. Strafe. Oh, that's like turning 90 degrees. Also, oh yeah, this is grid based. So, as you can see on the top left, I'm moving grid by grid. I can't really go like diagonally or whatever it's called. What's this? Oh, well, there we go. A small med kit, sure. Okay, that's what that was nice. You could auction this item at the black market. Valuables can be found exploring. Search for secret caches. Sure, a lunchbox. Can I open this? No. There's a locked door. I push that button. Many objects are interactive. Look at an object and click when the object is in range. Somebody has securely locked this door. You'll need to find the manual override if you want to get it open. Try searching the room for an obvious switch. For an obvious switch? Oh, that looks like, an, like a switch. Oh, it's 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 an obvious switch. Okay, it's kind of dark. As the door grinds open, a small hooded figure darts through and past you towards the exit door. It pauses and cautiously turns to study you. It appears to be a small child, probably a station urchin. Underneath the tatters of a filthy cloak, you see the glint of something shiny. Carefully display his hand, get hand gesture, indicating peace. Sure, let's see that. The urchin cocks its head to the side and calmly returns the, returns the gesture. Kneeling quickly, it places the glittering objects from the folds of its cloak onto the floor before vanishing into the shadows. Does it? 
tiny chromium music box. Oh, nice. Thanks. Thanks, bro. Okay. Anything else to be had? A stubborn door. Each class has abilities that will aid the team both in combat and exploring. When you gain a level, you will also gain one ability point. Assign ability points, I did that. Or can I... Can I... Can I do it now? Oh, gee. So I is the key for this. Beams of deadly laser energy are projected in front of you, bearing a path. Traps won't usually block movement, but touching them stings a little. Look for a way to disable these beams. Let me guess, somewhere here? What was that? That's the door? What's this? A cred stick. Sick credits, okay. Mm. So, can I open one of these? Is there something obvious I'm missing? Hmm? No? Where's the stubborn door? Oh. This door isn't locked, but stubbornly refuses to open. Use your unique talents, you should be able to convince it to open. Blast the door with the power of the void. Blast the door with the power of the void. White cycle. Oh, okay. I think this skill is higher than this one, so we go with this one. That worked, I guess. Was it even that? I don't remember. Summoner Evoker. Oh, okay. Okay. So wait. We're going for the summoner route, I guess. <clears throat> a suspicious panel with a button. Pens like this one provide access to local security systems. Hack the interface, sure. I didn't read the rest. Fuck. I clicked too fast. What's this? Can I go in there? No? Mom? Dad? Anyone? Here? Anything? No? Alright then. Okay. Oh shit, a robot. Combat! You've entered combat mode with the enemy. The turn order of combat is shown on the timeline above. The active character is on the top left. On your turn, click and hold on the target to see the ability we will release or an ability to activate it. Abilities have different time unit costs to activate. Past abilities cost fewer time units, slow abilities cost more time units but hit harder. The time unit arrow shows where you will move in the timeline if the ability is used. Void energy fuels your dark powers. Gaining void energy has a risk of overloading. If you overload, you vent all void energy explosively. Okay. So we have Satsu here, it says time units 5, time unit 0, oh I can right click on it here, okay. Oh you yeah. hold the left button, we can strike it, I guess with our main weapon. Um, what's this, options, okay. So, this has two turns cooldown right? So we can do this. Did it just polish me? You've just been hit with a status effect. Okay. What is it? I sparkle. What? Thoroughly scrubbed by Satsu. Dude. Did he clean me? Should I attack him? Should I flee them? Do you actually harm me? Let's flee. Do I have to? Well, looks like I have to. Okay. He wasn't harming me though. That's kind of... Not nice. Also, that doesn't look... Yeah, yeah I know. Okay. Poor Satsi. He did not deserve that. You found the module and some loot. Right click items in the loot screen, blah blah blah. Yes, I can do that. A flimsy touch, an uncommon light melee weapon. Anything else? It's pretty dark. 
Hmm. All right, then I guess that's it. Your mission is complete. Do you want to return? Yes. <coughs> and some more XP. Okay. As you stroll through the station, our cloaked figure sidles up to you. Ah, new adventurers in our humble station, yes. I can always put a potential business partner from a parsec away. Madness is where I spent my days, and the streets was where I was born and raised. Oh, isn't that the dude from before? We've met before, I'm sure of it. Oh, perhaps. Perhaps. I do try and forget every face that enters my humble store. Perhaps of plausible deniability, you see. But I digress. You will be business partners, I am sure of this. Who are you? Where are my manners? Draw at your service. Propriate, propriate, p -p 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 of the black market. Um, purveyor of hot goods and even hotter gossip. Actually, you do look familiar. Have you met before? Sure. Oh, fuck. I got an Ian cube and I didn't read it. Fuck, I clicked too fast. Indeed, here. He hands you a small glowing cube from the folds of his robe. This is an Ian cube. Bring me any that you find and I'll trade you for them. Keep that as an example of my good favor and what to look for when you are crawling. Yeah, what is this? I mean, a bauble, really. A marketing trinket from Aramazon. Yeah, no. no. Yeah, nothing. Nothing I would know. That was produced in a mess before the company went bankrupt. You'll notice a unique cereal etched into each casing. Quite the collectible for the idle rage, but otherwise worthless. Uh, sure, I keep an eye out for them. Excellent, I am pleased by your business acumen, and I'm sure you'll be most pleased by the sweet, sweet swag I am offering in exchange. Bye now. Ron turns sharply on his heel and sinks back to the black market. Okay. Is this the black market? Yes. Ah, customer, how may I humbly assist? Please excuse the smell, we're cleaning. What do you have, sir? He has. Crates. Shield, armor, and weapon. Hmm. Okay. I've even keeps the trade for. Um. Okay, I have five cubes. Do I have cubes now? Fifteen cubes? Fifteen? Oh yeah, it looks like it. Vendor does not buy items. Okay. Uh. I have something to auction? Can I? I can sell for 20 credits. Cancel. Uh, I don't know. Can I sell it somewhere else? Doc glances up as you enter. Hey there, Pizarro. Looks like Sotsi was no obstacle and you return and you return victorious. Why are parts in hand? You do something different with your armor. It's sparkling. Satsi saw sparkles in the other now. Poor Satsi. Ha! Just my way of having f a bit of fun with the newbies. No hard feelings, eh? Don't worry about Satsi. Gives our engineer's salary something to fix. You should head to the her store if you're looking to gear up. He grabs the spare part and turns to his wire terminal. Up and running shortly. In the, meaning in the meantime, Tellery just posted a local job. Check the job board in a minute. Alright, talk to you later. Uh... Can I sell something now? Oh no, this is my stash. Okay, can I hire something? 36 back. Shit. Can I sell stuff here? Hey, what you need? I've got some new gadgets and gizmos in. Take a look. Uh, can I use the upgrade station? Dude, wait. I should equip stuff first, shouldn't I? So, loadout. What's this? What's this? How do I... Fuck. Where did my other weapon go? Oh, do I just put it on it? What the fuck? But it looks like it's... It's better. 18... Oh, okay. Stat changes if Dennis equips this item. 18 damage versus 14... 30% shield pierce, 10% critical hit, minus 20 time units, plus 5% dodge. Right click to equip, shift click, left click to inspect upgrades. What? 
Available upgrades. Kill common enemies instantly. Death strike one. Chance on a weapon crit. Okay. Well, it's upgraded, I guess. Can I sell you stuff? Item cannot be sold. Oh, these are stolen goods. Oh, I have to sell them at the black market. Okay. I see. Uh, uh, sell this stuff. Okay, no. I have A and keeps. Can I give you this? No. Where was it? I have something to auction. Here, right. Sure. Sure. Okay, how much money do we have? We have... We have... 76 bucks. Okay, I need more money. Can I use upgrade station? Can I... Can I... The costs... I can activate it for 9 bucks. <clears throat> Chance on weapon crit. Kill common enemies instantly. I mean, sure, why not? It's just 9 bucks. What's this? It's a shield. No upgrades available. What's this? Okay, no. Inventory. Can I upgrade the medkit? No. What do you have for sale? What's this? Threat increased by 10%. So, threat. Okay. Okay. Um, exit shop. I think we should go get another mission. I can wait for new jobs, or I can do distress signals. Employer, Tellery Hops. Investigation, easy, so just level 1. Tellery Hops, the sixth engineer is looking for a crew to investigate a distress beacon coming from a salvage junk in the area. Investigate the ship for surviving crew and render assistance. Uh, sure. Sure? I think after this round we can get another one. Another dude going? In our team? That would be nice. A subtle trill from your comlink signals an incoming transmission. Luna appears on the holo, looking in eyed as usual. What's the what in there? Atmo is low. Looks like powers too. Nothing exciting in the airlock. Seeing this is, is our first job in a while. Try not to budge it. I got a ship in burning need of fuel and parts. Any questions on the job? Uh, what are we after again? Boss, may I just say you've got a mind that's more plastic sieved than steel crap? Noted. We're looking for whoever sent the distress beacon. They might need a part, some fuel, or maybe a lift back to the station. Either way, let's see if we can if we can't help out. And earn ourselves a paycheck. Any communication from Q crew with crew? No one's answering my hails on local comms. You should head to the cockpit to see if you can find someone and get a lead on what happened. I'll sweep the exterior again and check in later. Sounds good to me. Hold up, getting a call relay from the sticks wire for you. Who's calling? A snarl creases Luna's mouth. Corp rep for Chimera Biopharma Solutions. You want me to patch them through? Uh, sure. Thank you for taking my call. I'm contacting you on behalf of my employer, as I believe our interests may be aligned currently. The ship you've boarded was delivered medical supplies belonging to my employer. The supplies were to be paid for... For... Word? What the fuck is wrong with me? The supplies were to be paid for... By the recipients, but as it now see as it, but oh, Jesus Christ, I, I I drink something. Something is wrong. G man. <coughs> the supplies were to be paid for by the recipients, but as it now seems they will not be delivered, we would like to reclaim our property. My employer will pay you 100 credits to locate and return these supplies. Payment increasing. What if the crew takes issue with claim? Sounds reasonable. What if the crew takes issue with a claim? You would be acting in, uh, on authority from Chimera Biopharma Solutions to reclaim our property. This sort of transaction is commonly covered under our agreements with third party blah blah blah. Will you collect the supplies or not? Uh, I think the payment should be increased. Ah, perhaps you're new to crawling? This is not how third party contracts work, crawler. The payment is 100 credits. Will you collect... Uh, I keep an eye out. Excellent. I will ensure the credits are deposited to your account when you have secured our supplies. Thank you in advance for services. Okay. All right. It's, it's so fucking dark in this game. Jesus. So. 
All right, nothing to be had to be seen. Heads up, we got PEAs active. Someone must have activated the security system. Stay frosty, place is probably crawling with them. Target practice time. What's this? Okay. Combat mode engaged. Let's give him... So this is shorter. Deals 7 to 7 damage or this one deals 9. Let's try this. That dealt 14. Let's do this. That didn't do much actually. Do I really want that skill? Twenty-eight. Oh gee. Okay. That was a regular attack, I guess. So do I heal after battles? How does this work? Yeah. No. No, I don't heal. But my shields are up. I guess. Maybe. Kind of spooky. Where the fuck am I? Well, there's money. There's money. Can I open these? Can I open these? Can I zoom in? Do something? No? Looks like a, oh. Oh, what's this? Oh, what the fuck? More money. A hidden stash. A rusty slicer. It's worse than what we have right now. Uh, target takes two percent extra damage from all sources for three turns. Not too bad. We might sell it actually. Anything else? Tablet. Smiths and Jablonski are smuggling those damn camps again, and I think I don't know. Pair of toolboxes. Secret code using ketchup and mustard bottles. Really inspired, guys. Nikos is hoarding candy bars again. The glorious life of a captain. Maybe after the next round, I finally decide to call quits. Maybe. Looks like some shady dealings between two of the crew. Okay. So it looks like we gotta keep an eye out for this icon there. That's where the good shit is at. I'm slowly getting lost already though. A med kit. Uh, okay. There's one of these dudes again. We can do this. Easy peasy. He missed. So... Is this even worth using then? It's quick, yeah. It attacks three times. But this does a lot more damage. So he's gonna make a move that is gonna cost him 145 time units, right? So I'm faster with 130 and 65. Do I use this to do quick attacks? This seems to do most damage there. I missed. I can do it again. 10 and 9. 9. Okay. 4, 2, 2, 8. Still the regular attack deals the most damage. Weird. You would expect that skills would deal damage, right? But I guess not then. Hmm. What was that? What? I looked at something. Am I missing something? I don't want to miss something. What was something here? There was somewhere. 
Keeping on the door. Oh, it's was probably this one. Another small med kit, sure. Not gonna say no to that. A cred stick, sure. More money. How much money do we have? Uh, 87. Another cred stick. Alright. Looks like we're fine money wise. This looks like a living room kind of thing. More money. I can't get closer, that is kind of annoying. I can't duck either. I guess I don't need to. Still. Feels weird to be this far away. So I guess there's nothing interesting then. Oh. Chimera. Oh, isn't that the company that called us before? Medical supplies. Oh. Medical crate stamp with the logo of Chimera Biopharma Solutions is stacked here. A shipping manifest is clipped to the front. Uh, let's read it. The manifest indicates the supplies are bound for Brighthall, a colony in the region that has been struggling with an outbreak of pox. The transaction re records state that the bill has been paid in full to Chimera and the colony is awaiting delivery. Contact Luna to dock and collect the supplies to sell. Contact Luna to dock and collect the supplies to transfer to the colony. Or for Chimera. So, we could help people, I guess, in Brighthall. Or we could take a hundred bucks. Or we can sell it ourselves. I doubt that we're gonna make more money by selling it ourselves. A biopharma. They paid for it. I think they should just get it. So let's see that. You are go for Luna. Bring the shell around. I want to get these medical supplies to the Bridal Colony. <laughs> and I want to retire for, to Londinius and buy a shiny hat. With all due respect, boss, our agreement is to and fro on crawler runs. Side trips cost extra fuel. 20 credits of extra fuel to be exact. Uh, I even have to pay now. This better be worth it. I'll talk when we're done here and run them out to Brighthall after I get you back to sticks. I'll be sure to let the pox ridden townies at Brighthall know who to thank. You're a real saint, boss. And you're a delight, Luna. Luna, you don't actually look like a delight. You look more like a... Actually, I don't know. Let's just go. Fuck you. Fuck you, Luna. For wanting 20 bucks. You should give me 20 bucks, man. It should be an honor to work for me. Anything else in this room? I wasn't there yet. Dude, this place is huge. Another one of these dudes. Come here. Wait, do, do, you, do I deal more damage the more wide energy I have? It fuels my dark powers. So if I keep using this... Twenty-eight. And again. Nineteen. Hmm, okay. What's this? A start cash. A foxkin smooth bore. Plus one shield breaker. What time units? A rusty mace. Okay, let's just take it all. What's this thing now? Looks like a machine. A reactor of some sort, maybe? Dude, I'm digging the atmosphere. It's kind of... Like this This weird kind of pressure on me. It's a bit hard to explain. The atmosphere is great there. Uh, can I get down there? Oh, I just kind of slide over there, I guess. Uh... A lock terminal. The bridge is ominously lifeless. Luna's face appears when you come. Nothing to report out there, out here. Escape pods unlaunched. Looks like some airlocks might have been opened though. I sense danger lurking in these shrinking corridors. None remains. Creepy, you find the ship lock? Locks are here, let me see. The display is open to the ship's lock. Someone was in the process of making an entry. Scanning the lock entries reveals that the crew recently discovered a massive ship. The words score of a lifetime are recurring are a recurring theme. This sounds promising. Lux mentions a colony ship. 
Pick one. Registered on the same name. Stella Marin. Found it adrift in the Guggen sector? Jesus, man. Got the cards here. Guggen, eh? That's only four parsecs from here. Anyone on board? Completely abandoned. System still functioning. No apparent signs of mechanical distress. That sounds like a mint find. There's also mention of some cargo they looted from the ship. Lock cuts off after that. I say you unlock the cargo hold and see if they pulled in anything worth taking. No crew means they're... They're... Untimely? Uh, untimely? What the fuck is this word? Their untimely demise is our gain, right? Unless their demise wasn't the cargo. Things finally show signs of getting interesting and now you're worried about little danger. You're a crawler. The possibility of violence is just icing on the loot cupcake. Get your weapons ready and stop winging. Good point, let's go see what they found. Override the lock and the cargo hold doors. Okay. A hidden stash. With a chilling scoped sea yammer piece. Sure. So we fucked up on returning the medical supplies for to the chimera. And we yet have to investigate more of the ship. Uh, where did we not go yet? It looks like I could go more to this side, but I guess not. Um, doesn't go anywhere from here. I could go this way. Money, more money. Is there more? No. Some lockers. Some crates, some loot, or no loot for me. The crew's personal lockers appear intact and untouched. Whatever happened to the crew, no one seems to have taken anything of value. Investigate the locker cabled consacro. consacro? Uh, the contents of the locker are neatly arranged, but there's nothing of interest or obvious value. Personal effects indicate this locker may have belonged to the captain. Uh, investigate Jablonski. A torrent of trash and candy wrap wrappers pour out of the locker when you open it. Besides some artwork of questionable taste, there's nothing of interest in the locker. Uh, Smith. Beneath a stack of manifest order, you uncover a small hidden compartment sealed with a maglock password. Take a look at it. Uh, I can force it open. I, I can put a code in. I can. What's the code? Where do I find it? Did I find it? Was it in the other one I... Fuck me, man. <clears throat> okay, whatever. We will probably stumble upon the code, right? Somewhere. Is there a map key? Yes. So we weren't here yet. Maybe the password lies over there somewhere? Maybe? Someone was composing a message on this tablet when whatever happened, happened. This deal is too flush to pass on, even if Cap ain't down with transporting camps. What you don't know can't hurt us. I stashed the goods in my locker. Passcodes in the gallery in the usual place. In the galley. Remember, red, yellow, red, yellow. My contact will flag you when you get to Parsi sector for the drop. Looks like, yeah. Red, yellow, red, yellow, right? Red, yellow, red, yellow. More money. Yeah. Okay. Red, yellow, red, yellow. In the valley. In the galley, I mean. Did I miss something? In the galley. Red, yellow, red, yellow. Hmm. What's a galley? I'm gonna Google what a galley is. Um, galley. In the kitchen. It's some kind of kitchen. This looks like a kitchen. Wait, red, yellow, red, yellow? Red, 
yellow, red, yellow. No. Some sort of kitchen. He didn't mean this thing, did he? I was here before. This was a secret thing. There wasn't passcode in here, was it? No. Red, yellow, red, yellow. What the fuck? Or is that the code already? I don't see any numbers either. Hmm. This room is weird. There's n there was nothing here besides the medikit. And the galley in the usual place. What the fuck is the galley? I need to stop going into the same thing over and over again. So the next thing would be this. I guess. Maybe on the ground somewhere? No. Red, yellow, red, yellow. Hmm. So we're here again. I don't think this is a galley. Okay, whatever. So if this isn't it, and this isn't it. In the usual place. Red, yellow, red, yellow. Maybe it's in here. What's the word, boss? Is it antiques? Hot goods? Spices? I love spices. It's a crate. Crates of what? Secrets and lies. A string of incoherent curses fills your ears. You're fucking with me, right? You're such a joker. <laughs> no joke. I go see what's in it. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Open the crate already. Right. The sealed crate. I want the password. What the f fuck is the password? Is it somewhere here? Is it behind this thing? I'm gonna force it open. What the fuck? What does red, yellow, red, yellow even mean? I couldn't find anything red, yellowish. Okay, fuck it. Was it here? Oh, this is the entrance again. Maybe it was in the entrance, but... It doesn't look like it. Alright, let's force it open. Fuck it. I've had enough of this shit. Uh, was it Smith's? Uh, yes. Force it open. You hear the sound of breaking glass from within and an accurate stinks fills the air. The li liquefied remains of whatever was in the compartment begins to leak out the bottom of the contents have been destroyed. Fuck. Oh, fuck you. I swear to god, if I find the code now, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, fuck me. Alright, let's save before whatever happens. Save. Hello. Uh. Can I do that? Map. Overview. Oh, can I not save while I'm doing a mission? looks like it. Fumbling with the ledge of the crate, you hear a faint whirring from within, the sound of machinery coming slowly to life. You hesitate with one hand resting on the lid. I ready my weapons. You unholster your weapons and level them on the crate. Only then do you cautiously begin to unhinge the ledge. As the ledge releases, you feel a strong push on the lid from within the crate. You stick your grip and barely manage to keep the lid closed. 
Do I shoot the crate or do I open it? Fucking shoot the crate. You unleash hell into the crate, resale value be damned. Fuck. Waiting cautiously for a few moments, you note that the sounds from within appear to have died down. Cautiously, you move to open the crate once again. With a crash, the lid jerks open and a dashed figure unfolds itself into combat stance. Looks like it's time for a fight. Is it a for there? Boss fight. That's what I wanted to say. This is an elite. Elite enemies have increased resistances to jump, stun, and taunt effects. So it took a bit of damage because I shot him, I guess. Uh, can I see my abilities somewhere again? Maybe escape? No. Okay. I think this ability destroys shields, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh gee, can I defend myself? Oh, so I maybe destroy these... The shields with this one. And then use my Shadow Bolt. Yeah, okay. Because each attack seems to destroy one shield. Okay, now I get it. Is he gonna shoot or still charging? Thunderclap. That almost deal dam dealt damage. Almost. Okay, one more. Charging its cannon. Oh no. Fuck him. Oh, are you, f are you fucking me? One. Okay, just, just slice him. Rest in pepperonis, man. That gave me like two experience. I mean nine. Fuck. A prototype tech eye. Plus five percent experience. Sure thing. As the sparks die down, the disabled bot is slumped in front of you. It's not completely fried, but the damage looks severe. At any rate, it's down for the count and you're still standing. Luna's voice crackles to life beside you. Looks like you ran into some trouble after all. Hush, my new friend is sleeping. Any idea what this thing is? I'm no expert, but that's definitely not off the rack then tin. Might be worthwhile to carry it back, see if the baby wrench jockey can can't do anything with it. This can thing is really bugging me. Good idea, I'll meet you back at the airlock. So I did investigate the ship. I could not find this fucking passport, pass key or whatever. What was that? What? What? Wait. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, there was a crate stick, okay. Phew, I guess that's it then. I fucked up everything. Fuck me. Uh, yeah, let's return. Level 2. So yeah, if you fail to return the supplies... Uh, Tellery Hops is on her way to meet me. Okay, we got 50 bucks. As you walk into the station, Tellery Hops appears. Thanks for checking out the beacon. Too bad. Her eyes light up when the, she spots the jumbled hunk of metal you're dragging behind you. What's that? You find that on the ship? Mind if I have a quick look? Uh, go right ahead. Tellery takes her time inspecting the bot and its core. Gadgets and gizmos extracted from various tool pouches? Pushes? Pouches? Oh yeah, pouches and pockets take numerous readings on the circuitry and mechanical systems. This is quite a beast you got. I've never seen anything like it. Fact is, I'm pretty certain it shouldn't exist. Many things move within this world that are beyond the dictates of humankind. Man, my character sounds like an emo fuckboy, seriously. Right, I just mean, based on what I'm seeing, looks like we might be dealing with level 7 AI. Strictly controlled under UFP concept rules. They don't just let these things run around. Uh, is it worth anything? Tellery face Tellery's face takes on a serious cost. Here's where we got ourselves a real interesting situation. Where I see it, you get two choices. One, I rip the AI core out and you let me strip it to sell for parts. Or two, I patch it out when we get it playing on, our, on your team. Both sound fun to me. What do you want to do? Uh, do I want this dude? Two, if you can get it working without going rogue on me. Can I decide later? Normally I'd recommend 
just dead, but we got some factors working against it. The core is degrading fast. We pop it and I can stabilize it, no problem. Leave it in much longer and it's just a pretty level M. Secondly, having a level 7 AI laying around is going to bring down a hell of a lot of tension. So what you wanna do? Oh, fuck me. Um, I think this machine was pretty trash, to be honest. So, if I remember correctly, maybe maybe it's better now, but... Oh, we got mail. Uh, but fuck it, sell. 250 credits. Uh, yeah. Alright. Nice. These limbs are near to titanium. They'll send, so they'll sell for a mint. Time to play operation. With a few quick cuts, Tellery extracts the AI core and tosses it to you before going to work on the limbs. Soon the robot is an unrecognizable heap of scrap and Terry dusts off her hands. Feel like we dodged a bullet here. And if you're going to make a tidy heap of credits. Okay. I get two more ability points. So we could go here. Misery. Critical hits from your abilities inflict blind, corrupt or vulnerability. If the target is already afflicted by one of these effects, there's a 30% chance it spreads to a random target. Horror. Consume 30 white energy to bind a horror to the target. When the target takes damage from you, the horror deals 30% damage, weapon damage and leaps to a random target. Leaps up to 8 times. That sounds pretty good. Do you wanna go with that? I think so. Consume 30 void. Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, that, that sounds good. Any weapons we could use? Uh, more time units, we don't want that. Plus one shield breaker, nah. Plus 2% zeroing. What is zeroing? Accuracy. Can I equip this? I just did. Does this even do anything? So, okay. Prototype AI core. Uh. Oh, gee. Is, oh, that's an accessory. Oh, I see. Oh, dude. I could sell that for a lot. Or I just keep it. It's a legendary accessory. I mean, fuck 5% five, five ac accuracy. I get 5% more damage, more resistance. More experience, everything. So I, I'll take it. Sure. Can I get more dudes? Philips fine medicinals. Uh, I want to reset my ability points. That costs a hundred. No, I don't want to do that. Uh, what do you have for sale? Can I sell this? Yeah, I can. Uh, and this too. Sure. Man, you have a lot of money now. Can I get more crawlers now? As you walk into the bar, Doc glances your way. He doles out a few more drinks to the usual crop of regulars that ambles over. Hey there, Bizarro. You really kicked up a hornet's nest. I prefer bees. Bumblebees. Uh, yeah. Thing is, knowing the coordinates of the stellar marm puts you in rare company and presents an even rarer opportunity to fill your wallets with credits. There's more than a few interested parties that are willing to pay to know what happened there. No one knows what happened? That's the thing. Colonists all missing from the ship, except the ship is still largely intact. No signs of violence, no mechanical distress, no bodies. How can we benefit? A colony ship is a big deal. Lots of corps involved in financing, constructing, cro and crewing. UFP has put the ship on lockdown until the resource who has what rights to board and investigate, which is where you come in. We go in whether we are allowed on to or not. Exactly, you got the cards, you got the skill set. Corps and civic groups will be tripping over themselves to get you in there on their behalf. Long as you don't get caught or piss off the wrong people, you should have the run of the Stalamarin. I like this. Now you got an advantage over the other crawlers, but that just means every corp in the know is making plans to send someone in on the sly. You'd best make hay while the sun shines. I took the liberty of lining something up here. What's the job? First kick is from what from the ship's manufacturer, Aurora Starliners. I imagine they want to find out what happened before they catch blame. I can patch you into Aurora for the details. Thanks. Bring me a drink while I chat with Aurora. 
Gee, let me drink something. Mm. With the holo panel on your comm and flickers on, showing the logo for Aurora Starliners, a clipped voice greets you. Greetings! Your services were recommended as you are in possession of the coordinates of the Stellar Marin and are a capable. Capa, capa, capable? 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 G. And are a capable team of just me. If you will refrain from publicly sharing these coordinates and you do turn out to be capable, we wish to make use of these services. Uh, sure. Excellent! We'd like you to obtain a black box from the Stellar Marin so we can perform a complete diagnostic review of the ship's systems. There are several on board a ship of this size. The simplest to reach is on the nav by located on deck 105. Well, sounds simple enough. It should be. The ship is officially on lockdown so your job should be undisturbed. Now, once you locate the box under no circumstances should you attempt to activate the data burst transmit feature. Simply bring the box back to our station. We can't just transmit the data from the black box? Absolutely not. Activating it in unsafe conditions will cause data corruption. Simply collect the box and return to the station for the drop. Do you have an understanding? Uh, certainly. I guess you get on with it then. I am posting the details in private to you. Yes, job board. Good day. The call cuts out abruptly as the auto rep sues su the connection. Let's get to work. Okay. Uh, I want more crawlers. Uh, oh shit. I thought I could have the robot with me as one of the crawlers. Oh shit. Do these costs all the same? Yeah. So we have a damage dealer. Maybe some sort of like tank. This looks like a tank. This, this, this looks like a tank. His name is Bear. Uh, a soldier, a smuggler, light melee weapons, paired melee weapons, pistols, SMGs, rifles, shotguns, light tactical, uh, a melee dude, uh, The engineer is handy with a pneumato wrench and can rig just about anything with an infusion of gigawatts. I see what you did there. From their mech suit. Experts that support using their concert mechanical skills. Okay. From their monastery home ship Geduld, which is a German word for patience, alright. Four psychos quest to hone their powers and collect the th thites. Initiates often fall in with crawlers where their ability to shape raw psychic energy makes them valuable allies. What can you do? Sentinel and Guardian Berserker. This sounds good. Constructor Rigger Bolty. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh, Guardian. Expend 40 force energy to throw a shield of psychic energy that deals 40% weapon damage and strikes up to 3 enemies, gaining 5% damage. That sounds like damage. Uh, the third of your highest ally. Let's uh, deals on each turn. Oh gee, okay. Sentinel. To smash a foe for 30% weapon damage and create a barrier on your lowest health ally for 3% of your current health. Okay. Create a reinforced barriers to charge this ability. Stores up to 10 charges. Activate to consume all charges and create a barrier on each ally for 1% of cu current health for each charge consumed. So on cha 10 charges that would be like 10%. So this looks like a shielding path. So I might want this dude. What does the engineer do? Uh, first use. Deploy Junker of 10% of your max health. Each turn Junker deals 10% weapon damage to all enemies and inflicts corrosion, dealing 30% weapon damage on each turn for one turn. For one turn. Uh, it costs one gigawatts to deploy. How do I obtain gigawatts? Cost two. Two gigawatts? Are gigawatts items or is it just. Dude. 
You're really good at putting these things together. Boost elemental resistance of constructs by 10%. Okay. Upgrade. Generates gigawatts to charge upgrade. At 5 charges, apply upgrade to all. Man. Do you generate that shit? Dude, the female one looks sick. Even though the dude looks more like the dude from Doom. Ah, uh, man. What's this? Allow Bolty to choose his own actions in combats. Activate again to switch off. Deploy Bolty. Your personal tank, Bolty. Heal 30% of Bolty's health over 3 turns. Bolty requires 2 gigawatts to activate his heal. How do I generate that? Uh, this is damage. Okay, this is literally a support. Okay. Deploy Junker, deploy Bolty. Uh, deploy Thumper, deploy Blasto. Uh, dude, what do I what do I get? Do I get this dude or do I get the Force Psyker? Dude. You know what? I'm gonna play it safe and just go with a Force Psyker. And we're gonna call her. Uh. Uh. Gonna call her. Uh, dude, this is the worst part of the game where you have to actually give names. Ronara. Do you look like a no Ronara? No. You look like a. Hey. Hey. Oh, okay, I know what you look like. You look like an Elfgrid. <laughs> Alright. Oh shit, we have actually enough to get more than one. Why am I thinking so much? Oh, fuck me. Let's get bear too. Okay. Can I get more than three people? Can I get four? Can I get... Uh... Uh... We are disappointed to hear of your recent involvement in the... Theft of property rightfully owned by Chimera Biopharm, blah 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 blah. Uh, warning, blah, fuck you guys. Okay. Okay. Um. Athgurt, you're gonna be a ward stuff, right? Oops. Um. 40% damage, more health, crit chance. If warding blow critically hits, our barrier is created on all other allies. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Empathetic strike. Do we have passives on everyone? No. Requires 24 energy. Deals energy damage. Okay. When you create or reinforce a barrier, Warden's Wrath gains 100% of the health damage. Splitting the start damage between all enemies. Damage resets at the end of combat. Uh, okay, so this stacks with the warding blow pretty nicely. Critically hits stun all targets for 50 time units. Critical hits, oh, critical hits create a barrier on each ally for 5% of your current health. Empathetic strike pierces any shields on a target. If empathetic, empath, empathic, not empathetic. If Empathic Strike deals a critical hit, the force energy cost is reduced by 5 for the rest of the battle. Mm. Mm. What do I go a second? Threat cost is boosted by 50% when combat begins. All allies gain 5% elemental resistance. Oh, doesn't sound too bad. Just a few mind bullets. Um. Hmm. Warden's Wrath gains when you create or reinforce a barrier. Is 
starts damage between combats. It starts damage between combats, so I can charge this up, right? But this one stuns all targets if I crit. And if I crit, oh man. Actually, this sounds pretty good. Let's go with this one. Okay. And we got bear. Bear, you're gonna... Are you gonna rig? Are you gonna construct? Fucking Baldy. Mr. Auto Roboto. Um... Use two gigawatts of power up and fire up new metal fists to deal 75% damage. Damage targets have a 2% increased chance to be crit for 3 turns, stacking up to 3 times. If not used, it power and stun and resets all effects. Uh... Wasn't there a robot who, like, dies instead of the enemy? I mean, instead of an ally? A rumble pack. You just plant stuff and gain 10% stun resistance and heal. Um... Damage boost for one turn. Mm. Gee, man, I am not quite sure. I am really not sure what to do. I'm also not sure if you can get three or four people into battle. Constructor doesn't sound too bad. We can have three. We can have four bots. Can we deploy them all at the same time? Or do we just get fucking Baldy? Let's get Baldy. 15% dodge, sure. It activates automatically when combat begins. Oh, fuck yes. Um, strafe, use 2 gigawatts to activate Baldy strafe feature and do 40% weapon damage to each enemy. Malfunction chance 20%. Okay. And stun. So it's like 40% damage to all enemies or 50% and stun against one. We don't have any AoE, do we? We don't really. So... Uh, taunt damage enemies for one turn. The stun is doubled. Yeah, let's go with the... Um, AOE. Okay, I think I think we're good. I think uh, we played a good amount of time. We did two missions. We read a lot about stats and theory crafting. Um, yeah, I mean, shit, Arthur, bear, bear. You know what? You take it. Okay, dodge minus 25, what the fuck? Oh, you take Warhammers. Can I upgrade those? Ten bucks, sure. Stun the target for five time units. Stun target for 10% weapon to you. Sure, whatever, man. I can upgrade this thing. Permanently boost experience gamut to uh, sure. Critically increase critical strike chance, sure. Boost chemical resistance but reduce armor block for no. We don't want that. And combat begins all allies deal 2% bonus damage for one turn. Uh why not? Free damage. Increase critical strike chance by 5%. Sure thing. A tactical shield. When a shield charge is lost, deal 
20% of shield absorbed to the attacker's nano damage. Is this the same? No. To all enemies. When all shield charges are lost. To be honest, I think we're gonna find some of these soon. Soonish, kind of. So we don't want to waste too much money, actually. All right, I, I think we're done. I think I think that's it for after work with Dennis. Um, I hope you enjoyed Star Crawlers. I certainly did. I really want to keep playing. Um, and I'm gonna keep playing probably uh, and make a series out of this. Or, or or do I? Just just tell me. Just tell me if I should keep playing. I think it's it's a great game. It was just the beginning, and I like wasted a lot of time with um, thinking about what I could potentially do instead of playing the fucking game. But if I continue now, I think we're gonna um, get into playing it really, really quickly. So yeah, thanks for watching, boys, and I'll see you next time.